Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWork.com and welcome to our full review of Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Uh, now you can see we are using Windows 8. I've been using it uh, over the weekend, the last couple of days. And um, <coughs> I can tell you it's a very interesting uh, operating system. Microsoft has done some very cool things and also some things they've taken away. So let's take a look at uh, every aspect that we can of the system. This will be a lengthy video, so bear with me as I try to cover most aspects of the system. Now, you know we've already covered the Windows 8 video and video and music uh, player, so you can check that out. Now, this is your main home screen for your Metro UI. You can switch over to the desktop mode, and basically you have this here. It says desktop, or you can switch over there if you've been in there, so you can just do this. Now this is the start button. You can see there's no start button here. This is the regular desktop mode like you have in Windows 7. You can go to the corner and that gives you your, basically that's your start uh, area. Now, um, if you look across the screen, you can see there are live tiles. Some of these tiles are updating. I have my weather tile. I do have my photos. I have my uh, contacts as well as my um, messaging tile, which you know messages and I'll tell you more about that. A few games here, a couple applications, and uh, a bunch of these Metro UI apps come with you, uh, come with the system once it, you install it. But let's take a look at the overall um, home screen here first. So you noticed you, uh, you can you have your different tiles, and these here are regular Windows uh, Seven applications here. They're not Metro style, so they they will show up here when you install them, but uh, they don't have live tile functionality if you right click on your home screen and that's to tell you that right click doesn't actually bring up your regular right click menus only on the Windows uh, 7 desktop side if you right click on the home screen it brings up all apps here you can look at all your applications and this is the only place to check every single application you, you have on your system here as well as some of the other system functionality like command prompts, control panel and things like that so you have it all here Metro apps are in one section and then the rest of your applications are on the right now <clears throat> let's go back here now in the top right hand corner you do have your um, account she says now to here I can sign out I can change account picture so on and so forth if you go to the top right hand corner that pulls up the side menu on the right which has your search options your share start of course which brings up the start menu devices and settings so we're going to settings you have shows your network your um, volume notifications power and of course system english english language and more pc settings which actually brings up your full settings on your system now this is broken down into uh, a couple categories similar to what you had in the in the preview version the first uh developer preview you have your lock start and account so your lock screen you can set whatever photo you want your start screen you can't you can see this is the black background i'm using you can change the colors and the pattern designs if you want, but you really can't do anything else other than that. Uh, you can change your account photo here, so you can either use your webcam or not. Now user, I can switch to Microsoft account or do a local account, which is now to Microsoft account, it shows that I'm signing to all my um, applications, if you will, so my Xbox Live and things like that. Um, notifications, this is a system for notifications. You have your search options, general, uh, now, general allows you to refresh your PC without affecting files. So, if you have an issue, you can restart and start over, and you have an advanced startup, which allows you gets to update to newer versions or you know to something like you know Windows 8 Ultimate or something. Piracy devices, and you can see uh, you can see this is all the devices connected. It shows you everything all there. But you can see the way that system is set up. It's set up for tablet use also, so you can easily jump in and look for. Uh, everything you're looking for is switch to Microsoft account to set your sync options. So those are the things you want to do. And of course, Windows updates to check for updates. So um, <clears throat> let us go here. Actually, let's go back here. So like I said, you have all your different accounts here. Now let's take a look at the store, which is the first thing we should look at with all the different applications. Now your um, your app store here allows you to download applications. And here, of course, this is full highlighted area with top paid top free new releases all stars you have games social right now it's just wordpress entertainment photos music books news weather food so different categories and you slide all the way through from left to right very easy very in very easy to navigate through 
Uh, we can go here and go to top free. There's no top paid now, so just let you guys know. You can see all the different applications you can download in here and um, allows you to navigate through and you know let's let's download something let's just show you how the download system works with this so what is catching my eye here okay so um, you know what let's download MSNBC install I have to sign into my Microsoft account so I can do that here or uh, so we cancel that let's just go back to start menu I can actually go back in here to my settings, more PC, switch to Microsoft account, put in my email, and password. Yes, 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 you know. So I'm signed in, I can head back, go back to the App Store, now install, and it's installing the application. So it says install in there, pulls me back, I have two updates, and I can update my applications, it shows the applications to update there, and I just click install. So that's the App Store, very easy, very simple, and of course there's a notification that pops up, doesn't matter where you are, that it's installed and you're good to go. <clears throat> so, you know, that's one thing to look at. The next the major thing, of course, is Internet Explorer 10, Metro UI side. There are two Internet Explorers, two different sides, and both of them work independently of each other. Now, you can see, uh, the, you know, everything's full screen, so there are no bars, all of them are hidden. To bring out the navigation bar, you actually hit right, right click, and that brings up your navigation bar showing you your refresh, you can pin stuff. Uh, that's basically just a push to if since this does not support uh, flash that pushes you to the other internet explorer which they don't share cookies or anything which is annoying you have your tabs on top you can add more tabs and you can search in private or clean up all tabs very very simple very basic um nothing more to it uh, even you know so if you want to right click to save save this photo you really can't do that it says copy there are no right click options again as i mentioned earlier so you have to copy if you go out go to the desktop mode here right click and then paste and there you have your photo so that's the way to do it now if you want to browse the photo you can either right click here you can see you have your full right click options which like I said is missing from the Metro UI side um, and that's something that you know is a little annoying but you know it's going to open up the photo here but I'll just go to the photo gallery <coughs> instead so you have your photos here this is my um, my photo album if you will what this does is pretty cool actually you can sync up several accounts so I do have uh, this here I'm just gonna head back so you can see I have my personal picture library which you can sync with it I have my SkyDrive and I have my Facebook account uh, as well as the Flickr and it's pretty cool you can jump in and already all your photos are there it's very fast snappy you can scroll through you can see how large they are so you can easily preview your photos and, and see you know how they look and, and enjoy them there so I can go to this Grim Joe photo I can pull it up in you know, a full screen and I can my right click options allow me to set as lock screen set as app tile delete the photo refresh or slideshow that's pretty much it so there's no option for me to use this at the background for the Metro UI but again this is nice uh, same thing with SkyDrive, I can jump right into the SkyDrive and already I have all my photos from SkyDrive which we have for the website and you can jump in and take a look at all of them and enjoy the, the photographs and things like that so see the Mercedes Benz here and you can see it's very easy to jump in and, and jump out which is very cool, I like the uh, connectivity with SkyDrive in here so that's, that's the photo application, I, like I said the uh, application basically, um, you know, the live tile works, it just scrolls through all your photos. Now, um, you can see when I go to start menu, if I pull up, up to the side here, I have my multitask and I go all up to nine applications here. So I'm looking at photos right now and I want to go back to say the app store. I can either click to go back or I can drag and drop there and I have the app store to my left and I can expand this more, see more of the app store and say, okay. I forgot to download something, blah, 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 you know what, I need to download Vimo, so 
more actually you know what, forget me more Vimo. I'll do USA Today I install that I need some news and I'll go back to my photos this way and that's the multitask element of the Metro UI side I think on tablets it's very intuitive and easy it's very easy also to just to close applications or close things so I have my PC settings here open I can right click I can just snap to left or snap to right so I snap to right and I put it where uh, my my pictures where or I can have my pictures I can snap to left and then toss that there but that leaves this as your main viewing area you can't snap to left and right I wish you could do that or you can have three things at the same time which would be actually nice I can close my PC setting by this thing close and it's done and it's it's that simple to use so that's that with the uh, multitask as well as the um, um, different uh, photo galleries now again you do have your sky drive which is SkyDrive itself. Yeah, and this is my, my personal SkyDrive, and you can scroll through. Now, the thing about most applications you're looking at, you're seeing no uh, options here for uh, settings, right? You can go here and go to settings, and that gives you account settings, so permission, it says permission here. Some things will have account settings, and I can show you that quickly. Let's go to uh, Slacker Radio. Slacker Radio has an app. Um, I might take some time just to uh, start up, so let's just see how that goes. So this is my Slacker radio app. I already have my Slacker here. I can go up here, go into settings, and that brings up my account settings. So that's where all your account settings for your different applications will be. In the general settings area where you can either go to PC settings or account settings, and I can do that here. Um, and the Slacker app is pretty cool. You know, it allows you to search. You really can't fully search browse, but you can search the options and you can look at your top plate. So it's still a basic app, but um, you know, hopefully this they add some more things to it. One thing I don't like with most of the music player apps, Slack as well as the video player, there are no play options on the live tiles, which I think would be nice. You can just jump in and hit play that way and and uh, move forward. So that's something to take notes. Uh, another thing also to check out is the email app. So this is the email app. Let's snap this back. You can see this is uh, this is border work email. You can right click and look at all your accounts. And you can add your accounts from your Google Exchange and so on and so forth. And you can look at uh, all your accounts. It's a basic app. There is no um, uh, stacked email. So if you have a bunch of emails from someone, it doesn't actually stack up, which you usually have a Windows phone. Hopefully that's added. But you know, to delete emails, all you have to do is just right click, right click, and you can move it to a folder uh, or mark as read, or you can just delete it. It's, it's that simple. Uh, to add uh, and to just right click again out to, to un unclick all of these this is what I'm reading around and then you can of course add new mail blah 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 to from you can switch accounts while doing that and uh, you can you know send from my Windows 8 PC uh, so on and so forth or you can change whatever you want to and they do have some options here highlight bold online bulletize uh, some more options here so it's simple uh, it's effective uh, but you know Again, it's an app preview, so this is not the final look of the application here. Um, <clears throat> what I do like, though, with Windows 8 is that it, it, especially on the Metro UI side, I haven't gone to the Windows 7 side, Metro UI side, everything is it's in front of you, it's there, and it's easy to navigate. Some of the games, even the games, so for instance, I have this game called Pew Pew. <laughs> As you can see there, it's just a game that um, someone built. And you can see it just takes over the whole screen up already. And um you just bring out some volume controls here. Most of the a lot of controls you find on Windows are you using a lot of hard keys from your keyboard. So let's just jump out of that and just that's just showing you some of the game in there. And you can see all your all, all the older applications, they all work, but they all work on the Metro side. So I have my Chrome browser which I can fire up here and that takes me you know in into the browser element here and you know it's something that it's it, it works and it works well your desktop area everything is pinned you can pin everything here and you know that's pretty much what you know the that area is for it's for you know applications that can run on Metro if you will cool thing though if you are you know installing this on your system and see you have um, something like uh, you have a current system and you have you know one of the latest uh, uh, graphics cards I know at least for AMD I use an AMD card AMD has drivers for Windows 8 consumer preview available so that's something cool to note 
a lot of my applications worked. The only application I know that I had issues with was Power Direct, uh, Power Photo Director Three, but all my applications work. My Zoom, uh, my Power Director, Camtasia, which I'm using to record this, um, all the applications work and uh, they work well without any issues. So overall, you know, I like what Microsoft is doing. I think there's some things they need to add. I wish. You know, when you have the multitask here with, with, with nine, I wish this bar was actually here below because, of course, your screen real estate is much longer. Um, also, um, and you can move the apps, you know, the app bar right here. Yeah, but I understand because you're pushing things left and right, it might be something very difficult to do. There is no right click option, which I think, you know, as a Windows user, you will need uh, to some degree. So hopefully they can add that at least right click and have the options pop up below, you know, in here. So uh, that's something, that's something, you know, to note. Other things also is, you know, things like the browser where you can actually save, you know, and copy or, you know, save, you have to copy and paste. Something I think they need to implement, implement, especially with tablets where you have the long, long press to save or set as wallpaper, things like that. And also, please, Microsoft, I want my wallpaper back. I'm sorry, I need to have a wallpaper back here. I understand, you know, with the Metro apps, it might be different, but I want a wallpaper. So hopefully you guys listen to me on that and you guys can push that. But overall, you know, I like it. There's still a lot to fix between moving uh, from PC to, um, um, you know, from PC to Metro UI side. But I think they've done a lot to, to mend that. Oh, one more thing with the messaging app, it doesn't really work, even though it connects to your Facebook. The thing I don't like about it here is that it doesn't actually show you who's online. It just basically, you have to go in and find a contact and add a contact in there to send a message, uh, which is annoying. Uh, your contact app works well it has all your contacts so you can see and I can add contacts from Facebook email accounts all in you know, all the way through this is just some contacts but I can go in and add more and more contacts as as you know things move along so it's something to note it's, it's a nice application and I think it works out very very well I like I like the contact app I wish it was more integrated so that uh, to other applications like messaging and it is integrated with email um, so that I don't have to jump in to search and look. So those are the kind of things they need to uh, fix and add in Windows, um, you know, Windows 8 before launch. But I think, you know, Microsoft's taking the right steps. I like, you know, how it works. You know, I wish there were more applications that supported Metro UI so I don't have to go back to Windows 7. So, you know, like a Chrome browser, Metro UI, I use Chrome, I don't use Explorer, or Firefox, which I also use, I think will work well. Um, I think if they could add more elements to the multi, um, multitask system where I can at least push a snap three things you know in there so I could at least snap this I can have this and I can snap you know say this to my right and I snap something else to my left so I have three columns and I can have three columns to multitask with and switch in between so you know I can still ah, play that way so you know that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions or any comments about Windows 8 Continuum Preview, let us know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all Border Work with two O's. And also don't forget to subscribe to Board Fem, our other channel. So this is Thunder Yee saying thank you, and uh, always enjoy entertainment.